Well, whether it's Romero Canyon, Blackett Ridge, or Sabino's phone line trail, you can find Tucson's Greg Mall training for his next marathon. This Saturday, he'll be in Colorado for 26.2 miles of dirt roads and tough trails. This is Mall now competes into his 70s. Running is almost a fix for everything. Tucson's Greg Mall has been running and winning for nearly five decades. I keep going. I'm kind of like the ever ready guy. <laughs> How far has Greg Mall run? Well, with running every day and training for marathons, he estimates he's run around the Earth at its equator nine times. I'm here and other people are not, so keep going. Now at age 72, Greg Mall isn't slowing down. I'm on my way up. Literally, Greg Mall is set to run his sixth high-altitude Leadville Marathon in Colorado. It's considered to be the nation's toughest and highest marathon, taking runners to over 13,000 feet. And get this, the first half is all uphill. Your quads and your calves and your ankles, they're a disaster by the time you're done. It's a run with scenery and sometimes wildlife. A couple years ago, we ran with a bear. Greg also does ultra marathons, but he's known for more than just his endurance. I look identical to uh, Abraham Lincoln. Others seem to agree. So for, yes, the U.S. Marine Corps Marathon. Basically, I let my beard grow. Greg then dresses the part after the run. A couple hundred people asking for signatures and photographs <laughs> and all that. And I'm totally not the real guy, but they... But I look pretty good. <laughs> so Greg Ball combines his stamina with his sense of humor, staying fit by running, specifically trail running. Keeps me ahead of the curve all the time. All right, he's a good sport. We wish Greg uh, best of luck Saturday in his uh, next race. 72, impressive. And yes, there is some resemblance to Abe Lincoln for sure. A lot of people think so. <laughs> all right.